years ago, I was visiting in Florida, and I drove over to the East Coast to see a very good friend of mine, Dan Holloway, who's the minister of a church there, and his wife, Kathy. We had a wonderful time. I got up early in the morning because it was the day of my flight, but my flight was over in Tampa. Now, ordinarily, I like to have maps, actual, physical maps, but I had a new smartphone. So I programmed in my destination, the Tampa airport, and I took off going a leisurely way on the back roads, which I totally enjoyed until I got to the Tampa area and my phone stopped working. I tell you, I couldn't find that airport for anything. I mean, I drove around the Tampa area at first I saw signs and then the signs stopped and anyway I was completely on the wrong side of town and I stopped and I prayed because my flight was going to take off at a certain time and if I missed that flight I would have to spend the night and then take another flight the next day and you know how that is pay the full price or higher than I originally paid. Well, I prayed, and I said, God, I can't find this airport. Show me the way. Now, I want to read you what it says in Psalms 143, verse 8. Teach me the way I should go. For to you I lift up my soul. God's guidance is unlimited. It is complete. It is whole. It directs you around any obstacles that may be in your way. I went into a convenience store and I said, does anyone know where the Tampa airport was? And one lady said, oh yes, I know, but it's a long, 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 long way from here. And she said, if you'll follow me, I'm driving near there, and then I can point you in the direction. And she drove me, and I followed, and I got to the Tampa airport literally a half an hour before the time that I needed to be there. I thought about that, and... She was not only a nice person, but she was also taking a directive from God to, to help me, to get me to where I needed to go. See, God's guidance comes in many, many forms, and we may not know exactly what lies ahead of us or the way to go, but God does. And God can find us the help that we need in the moment of need. Seeking divine guidance, you are not concerned about what might happen. You know that God will be with you throughout your journey. And you will enjoy the beauty of the day. You'll value each moment for the absolute treasure that it is. With God as your guide, every day is a great and it's a new adventure in living. I thank God for guiding me that day. I thank that woman for listening to God. I'm sure she didn't hear God as a Charleston Heston voice through the thunder of the clouds, but she had the feeling that, yes, I can do this. I want to do this. And she was serving God by doing it. I pray whenever you can't find your way, when you're relying on technology or you have a map, a physical map that you don't know how to read, I pray that you'll go to God because God always knows the way and can send the help to help you get to where you need to go.